Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you all about the latest from Vanishing Point, Dead Elysium, out August 28th on AFM Records. This album has 10 tracks, one hour in length, and this is the band's six full length studio album. If there's one word to describe this record, I would say is consistency. All the different elements that permeate throughout this album are absolutely consistent track after track after track. That doesn't mean this record is repetitive, but it means that this record is very well balanced top to bottom. The main elements of the record or the main elements that make this album tick is definitely the structure, the sound, the lyrics and the vocals. The structure is cohesive, linear like I said, but it offers great fluidity from the first track all the way down to the last track. It's not a roller coaster ride, there's no ups and downs, there's slight variations from song to song because obviously every track has its own fingerprint, has its own sound, but there's enough on every single song to interconnect them all and allow these 10 tracks to really feel just like one solid song. And I like that aspect uh, of the record, like that balanced approach, not just from a structural perspective, but also from a sound perspective. Now, as far as sound goes, I felt that the sound was a little bit more dynamic than the structure. While the structure is very straightforward, there's really no deviations there, the sound is a little bit more dynamic. The sound offers a little bit more. Still very consistent, still very cohesive, but it definitely offers a little bit more variety. The first side of the sound that I want to approach is the symphonic elements, the orchestration that they included into this record, into the sound of these tracks. I love it. I love the fact that it adds so much melody it, it adds atmosphere to the songs, but it doesn't make this record a symphonic metal album. And that is a very hard line to walk on because it's easily moving towards the more symphonic approach, the more elements you introduce to the tracks, uh, the more predominant that they become in the songs. I felt that they did a wonderful job balancing that line, walking that fine line, and not allowing this record to become a symphonic record while still including a lot of symphonic elements into the tracks, into the way they're put together, into the way they're constructed, uh, and into the way that the melody really permeates throughout the record and the, and the atmosphere that it creates on an individual track. So kudos to them for being able to use those elements and use them a lot throughout the record and not allowing the album to tip the scales into the symphonic arena. The other element of the sound that I want to touch upon is the guitars. I love the guitar work on this record. The solos, every single song has phenomenal solos, multiple solos, really well incorporated in the songs. Not only the solos sound phenomenal, they really match the vibe, the mood, the atmosphere that the songs have and they enhance the tracks. And that in my opinion is what they're there for. You're not putting solos just for the sake of putting solos onto a song. You're really introducing them to the song in order to elevate the overall construction of the track, the overall melody of the track and the message that the song has. The solos are phenomenal on this record, but the guitar riffs, the melodies, everything surrounding the guitar work is outstanding. Definitely one of the highlights, when you go deeper into the sound, definitely one of the highlights of this record and one of the things that really pushes this album to be as good as it is. As far as lyrics are concerned, this is not a concept album, neither musically nor lyrically, but it's definitely a theme record on both scents. There's that theme from a musical perspective that permeates through the structure that allows this album to be that cohesive and well balanced across all 10 tracks. And then from a lyrical content, that's definitely a message there. There's definitely a common ground, a common theme, if you will, that spreads across all 10 tracks that also brings the record together. As you guys can see, there's a lot of different elements that are pushing this album towards the center, bringing everything towards the middle, allowing the album to be very strong, very united across all 10 tracks. But once again, I really want to emphasize this, not repetitive at all. You're not going to really find two songs that have a similar structure or a similar sound approach they're all very unique, but they all have the same elements. So they have the same ingredients, they're just using different recipes. But I felt that the lyrics was an important aspect to mention because keeping that theme alive through all 10 tracks really adds unity to the overall flow of the record. As far as vocals are concerned, phenomenal. Perfect delivery, perfect tone, perfect for this record. Really enhancing the songs, really bringing the emotion out of the lyrics. This is an album that's very emotional from a lyrical perspective. So it's important that the vocal delivery matches that same emotion that brings that out on every single song. That also allows the tracks to have their own fingerprint. Uh, otherwise, you even though the songs are not constructed in the same way, if the vocals are one size fits all across every single track, then it starts to feel mundane. It starts to feel repetitive from that perspective. 
I didn't feel that at all with this album. I felt that the vocal tone and the vocal delivery, while staying consistent, once again, the word of this record is consistency, while staying consistent, it still changes ever so slightly, at least from an emotional perspective, in order to really enhance the beauty and bring those lyrics to life and make the songs larger than life. Overall, this is an excellent album, a complete surprise to me. I was really not expecting a well-crafted album like this, a really cohesive, a, a unit. This is an album that you listen to all 10 songs, but you're feeling like you're just listening to one really long song that's divided into 10 different chapters. I love records like that. You just get lost in it, and it's just an absolute pleasure to listen to. Now, as far as songs are concerned, I want to start off with To The Wolves, a track that has power, it has drive, it has melody, it has heaviness. The underlying symphonic elements add great melodic undertones to the track. They're there, they're the basement, they're the foundation of how this song is put together. On top of that, you have all the heaviness, you have all the other driven elements that really push the song forward, really well balanced across all different elements. This, is, this song doesn't have a tipping point, it's just really straight down the line. The chorus is magnificent both musically and vocally. It really explodes into the track. It, it really enhances the flavor and enhances the vibe and the feel that the song has. Great solos on this song, multiple solos coming at multiple times, breaking out throughout the track. I love that, a little bit of an old school feel to it, but adds great atmosphere and adds a great mood to the overall way this song is constructed. The drums and guitar are really the heavy points of the song. They're really the, the core foundation on top of, that, of those symphonic elements that allows this song to have a little bit of a heaviness, but still carry a lot of melody within itself. Next, The Fall. This song has a little bit of a hard rock tone to it, or undertone, if you will, making it a lot more catchy, making this song a lot more hooky, almost like radio friendly, if you will, uh, both musically and vocally. The underlying piano melody is magnificent. I love how it creeps up ever so slightly. You notice it a little bit more, and then it dips back again, and it hides itself within the layers of the sound that this track has. But the chorus is really uh, the defining portion, the defining moment of this song being very hooky and very catchy. Uh, the melody is absolutely contagious and then the vocals match that on that chorus, allowing the song to just explode, to be this larger than life. And once again, once you start listening to the song, you can't get it out of your head. It's very simple from a structural perspective. It's not really overly complicated, but simplicity with a chorus that's this melodic with these vocals just make for a very hooky and catchy song all around. Last but not least, recreate the impossible. The drums on this track are, in my opinion, the shining light. They are outstanding, very heavy, very driven, creating the perfect bass for the song, cre creating the perfect heaviness that carries everything in its path or destroys everything in its path. The guitars and symphonic elements add a little bit more melody. They try to chip away the heaviness that the drums have uh, and almost give more of a predominant prog sound, prog feel to the way the soundscape of the song is put together. The vocals have the perfect delivery in order to enhance the lyrics, to really bring the lyrics to life. Uh, adding female vocals in the second half of the song really elevates this track because now you, you merge this, this song into a duet the two vocals are intertwined together. It really creates this beautiful wall of sound that's coming at you and makes that second half of the track absolutely magnificent, glorious, almost cinematic, if you will, in terms of how the music uh, creates the bass for those vocals to absolutely shine on the forefront. This is it, this is Vanishing Point with Dead Elysium, once again out August 28th on AFM Records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles, Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.